Yo, this is Joey Perp. We are Pursuit of Dopeness. We're here, South by Southwest 2017, with the one and only Joey Perp. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Yo, man, congrats on the success of Eye Drops. It was actually on my personal list of favorites for 2016. Appreciate that. Yeah, so definitely made, made sure to highlight that. And uh, yeah, whenever we, we get to see you around, we, you know, if there's a Joey Perp show, you know, Pursuit of Dopeness has to be there. I uh, appreciate that, man. Appreciate so, that. So um, what has been some of the best things that you've heard, you know, as far as feedback on, on, your, on your project? Man, I've heard a lot of people, uh, you know, just speaking highly of it, which I'm greatly appreciative of, like people having positive positive opinions on me and my music, which is pretty cool, man. You know, I didn't know that people were going to receive it as well as they did. You feel me? But they did. So it's lit. <laughs> so what, what were some of your favorite tracks uh, to make on that album? Man, Girls Out was really fun. Making Girls Out was like super fun. Um, God Body was raw just because I love rapping. Like Morning Sex was super emotional for me. Corner Stores was crazy. It was all, man. It was all crazy. It was like my first time making music to that caliber, so it was all crazy. It was all fun. I just felt blessed to be, like, in the room with everybody I was working with. Yeah. Last night, I was over at the at the Mohawk. Yeah. Saw you performing over there. You actually premiered a couple of tracks, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you, uh, you also told the crowd that a new project is on the way. What can you let us know about that? Yeah, I'm dropping a new project soon called Quarter Thing. It's, uh, it's going to be an EP. It's not a whole thing. It's a quarter thing. Okay. Right. I dig it. You actually were recently featured on a new single with ZZ Ward. Yeah, like, yeah, how yeah. How did Shout that one come Ward. about? Like, did you guys get in the studio together or yeah, how did that work? They contacted us and whatnot, and they were like, um, you know, like, she was like a, a fan of the music or whatever. She, like, just appreciated the music, and we looked into her stuff a little bit and we saw uh, kind of what she does and what they're aiming for with the, with like the fusion of styles and stuff. And um, yeah, we just kind of like cooked up one and made it happen. It was tight. Nice. Um, you know, we're, we're a Chicago uh, team. You know, you're from Chicago. Yes, sir. Uh, we actually have a lot of POD members that, that go to Stephen Ponce and friends oh, you know, every wrong. month. And they say that uh, Sean Paul is something that you and oh! Stephen like to play. Shout out Sean Paul. Yo, they pay attention. Yo, go. every DJ set I ever play, I play Sean Paul. I got Stefan playing Sean Paul. Mm -hmm. Stefan was asleep. No, nah, he wasn't asleep. Stefan knows what's up, but I was like, yo, I play Sean Paul for 10 minutes as every DJ set. <laughs> I'm playing four Sean Paul songs straight, and y'all going to dance to him, and I'm going to play controller afterwards, and y'all going to have to turn up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's lit. Sean Paul, yo, shout out Sean Paul, man. Sean Paul with the braids, though. Sean Paul with the mohawk, I'm not fucking with him. <laughs> Sean Paul with the fade, I wouldn't really fuck with him. Yeah, no. Sean Paul with the braids, though, big up. Big up. Tough respect. Is that, is there a possibility of a Sean Paul, Joey Perp track? Who is we, there, You know, yo. we got Sean Paul with, uh, with, uh, um, I'm with down. Sia. I'm so down. So he's out there. I would do a Sean. I mean, Sia's on a whole nother level than me, so I see how he did a song with Sia because they both make them hits. But, like, I would do a song with Sean Paul in a heartbeat. Yo, let's do that. If anybody watching this knows Sean Paul, if Sean Paul, if you watching this, bro, hit me up, G. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope, man. Uh, so you actually, you, you recently tweeted that Food and Liquor is low-key low key, one of the greatest key. debut rap albums ever. Low-key. All right. So is, is uh, working with Lupe something you'd want to do in the near future? I mean, of course, man. I would love to work with Lupe. That's the guy, man. He's so raw at rapping you feel me at just being a dude in general like he paved the way for all of us and yeah i would definitely i love to loop work with lupe what 